Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I haven't been to Dollar Tree for a while, so I thought I'd go today. Um, so, first, um, they had these right when you walk in. I don't think I've seen this style at ours, but this is kind of like the kind I get at Bath and Body. So I got one for Scrubby and one for me because our... Our sponges are, or what are they? They're not a sponge. I don't know why they call them a bath sponge. Some people call them loofahs. They're not loofahs either. I call them a scrubby. For my scrubby. So, I got that. And I think that was all for it. Well, I got these because I'm going to get serious about recycling. We've been putting our recycling in plastic bags, like kitchen bags. And then I just found out that the recycling company just takes them and throws them in the trash because they don't take anything in the bags. Well, I wish they would have said something. So I'm going to use one of these for the liner, just to kind of line the waste basket. And then I'll put um, all this stuff in there. And then every week I'm going to dump this contents into a uh, grocery bag to put in the recycle. So hopefully it's not going to be too much of a rigmarole. And then these I use in our bathroom. So I, that's a stock up. Item. Another stock up. I love this. I do my have my I have a little foot bath that I like to do about once a week. If I'm not too busy, I do. And this is really nice. It really softens your feet for when you want to do like loofah. Um, so I got some of that. I found these two for my cactus project. And I was going to pull them apart, and I still may. Because I don't, are those actual cactus in real life? It almost looks like they took their pumpkins, like Dollar Tree took their pumpkins, put them on top to make it like a barrel cactus slash whatever that kind is. So I'm not sure. But got those. And then I, this is a stock up. When I first bought these, I kind of tested it out. And I didn't test it out very well. And I thought, eh, it's not that great. But it is. I've used it since, and it's and it's as good as red line tape. So that every time I see it, I'm going to get a one or two. Then I found, I bought a bunch of these at Easter and then gave them all away. So I thought I'd buy myself one. These are really pretty. Like I need another notebook. Or notepad. But I kind of might um, copy this for some notepads to make. Isn't that cute? Little hearts, up, squigglies and hearts. Love makes the world go round. But I like the shape and the size. So we'll see. I'm kind of notebooked out right now. Because of the craft sale. And then they these are new. Isn't that pretty? Oh, you know what? Isn't it upside down? I suppose it doesn't matter. Hmm. But that's pretty. Oh, I see. It carries on. Okay. Yeah, so that's pretty. They had other flowers. They had lavender. So I got that one. I'm, I'm all lavendered out too. And then I found these are new. They're softer. The one I have is kind of getting ripped. Some of the tassel pieces are coming off. So I thought I'd get that for when that chain is or tassel is done. And I found this. There's, They've got like one with Buddha, and I think it says Namaste. They had a few, bunch of them, but the only one, there was only this one and the Buddha left. So I don't know what else they had. And then I found this. So, I mean, it's chocolate. How bad can it be, right? So maybe I'll try a little. We'll see how bad it can be. I mean, you can't go wrong with chocolate, usually. Like, if you don't already, you know who's got the best chocolate in the world? 
well, at least in our state or in my city, is um, Aldi's because they get German and Belgium chocolate, which is usually the finest chocolate. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm, mm. They're from Poland. Well, it's good for another year. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's the best chocolate. I would say this is I'm not going to buy it again chocolate. It's got a weird, it's got a weird aftertaste like salt or something. How much salt is in it? Sodium 55, that's not bad. Milk, chocolate, sugar, cocoa, butter, milk, cocoa liqueur, that's what it is. Hazelnut, soy, wait, yeah, I think it's the cocoa liqueur. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's a weird, funny. I'll give that to Scrubby. Then I found these. These are awesome. And I'm redoing my, um, excuse me, Artler Annex bookshelf. So I really like these, especially for my arthritis, my bad hands, because you can just grab this off the shelf like that instead of see my, my thumb. I damaged my, I, Injured my thumb. See that big bump? I injured that joint, and that's one of the most important joints on our bodies because we use it a lot. Um, and, and it has a lot of good force, but I injured it. So doing this or this is really, 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 really bad news for me. So doing this, I'm using more of my hand, you know, like, like that. Or if I was like that, ouch, that even hurt. So, I stocked up on four of these. I already have two in my bookshelf. And no, I'm not going to show my bookshelf. Because I should have done a before picture so it wouldn't look so bad now. Because it still looks really bad. But the before picture was like like a, a nightmare on Elm Street. It was just terrible. Like just... Ugh, a big mouth. So, then I found this, and I didn't even realize it in the store, that it's by Matthew Mead. And he's really cool. He used to be, um, well, I think he still is affiliated with Kai Nassauer that does the flea market style. And she also does Junk Bonanza, you know, the one I go to every year. And now it's in, um, I think there's one down in L.A. now. But this is such a cool find. They had a, this and a couple other coffee table size, size books near all the planting stuff, which was whoever did that. I don't know if it was the manager or what, but it was smart thinking because it caught my eye instead of getting lost on their book bookshelf, right? So it's got like recipes, rose water, how to make rose water, um, pizza. Like, look at this. Blooming cake stand, how to make that. Like different like craft projects and cooking or baking or whatever. So I thought it was kind of cool. And Matthew Mead is really cool. He used to be, I think he had a column on, I don't think it was Country Living. Maybe it was Country Living. One of those... Um, or budget living, maybe. Anyways, um, but it didn't last. I think the, it, I don't remember if the magazine, so it must not have been country living. That's not him. He's a heavier set guy. No, that's not him either. Mm. But look at how cool. I mean, just to look at the, you know, ideas for staging. Not staging, but, you know, doing vignettes. Like this right here looks like um, Junk Bonanza. That's how they set up their booths. It's so awesome. I wonder if he's in here. 
Look at like these. Oh, look at that. Brownies. Chocolate cake, even better. Num. Steak and herb crostini. Edamame basil dip. That'd be good. Num. Mm, this looks fun. So, there you have it. Isn't that cool? Look at the icicles. Mm, sangria? No. Sangria is so good. It's just a putz to make. Isn't that cute just to do that? It's funny they don't have a picture of them. What do they do in the back? Mm. No. Not even on the back. They're a cover. Oh. Who's coming down my walk? <laughs> All right, so that's my um, Ixnay on the milk chocolate egg. And that's my haul. So thanks for watching. Bye.